Come, let's sing Jesus, 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 let's sing Jesus and every day children's way. Hey there, friends. I hope you're having a wonderful home day. It's the middle of the week. Now, all this week, we've been talking about the Hall of Faith. And just yesterday, I'd finished looking at the robe of white. Isn't it fantastic that when we get to go to heaven, we'll be clothed with heavenly garments? Man, that's fantastic. And you can't really see it. It's, it's a spiritual robe, so, well, it's great anyways. Now, today, we're going to talk about a very, very special story. In the Bible, Hebrews chapter 11, after the Hebrew writer finished talking about Abraham and his faith, like we talked about yesterday. He believed in God, he trusted in God, and he did the things that God asked him to do. Today, we want to talk about someone else. And you know this person very, very well. He has a very big beard, or at least he had one. He had a very dirty cloak because he was walking through the sand all the time. Not anymore. But he was also one of the most devout people or one of the closest people to God in all the Old Testament. And we know him by the name of Moses. You see, in the book of Exodus, we read about a time when God's people were in the land of Egypt. And they weren't there taking a vacation. Rather, they were actually slaves. And the Egyptian people were making them do so much work it wasn't fair, and I'm not saying that because it wasn't fair. It wasn't fair. The Bible would say they were oppressed, they were treated badly, they were called names. They didn't like it. And the Bible would even say that they cried out to God for help. Well, God raised someone who would deliver his people, and that person was Moses. And Hebrews 11 would tell us that Moses, when he was a baby, he was hid from the Egyptians for three months. It would also tell us that when Moses grew up in Pharaoh's palace, because he would have been a prince, he didn't enjoy any of the things that the prince had to offer. He didn't like any of it. And he would have rather have worked with his people, the Israelites, rather than be an Egyptian. But there's one more thing that the Bible tells us that Moses is known for, for his faith. But before we talk about that, let's go sing a song with our friend Paul, and I'll see you in a few seconds. Let's go sing. Sing Christian songs with Paul. Thanks, E.T. Hey, kids, would you like to sing another Christian song? How about God is so good? God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, He's so good to me. He answers prayers, He answers prayers. He answers prayers. He's so good to me. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's so good to me. Great job, kids. We'll see you next time. Hey there, friends. You did such a wonderful, beautiful job singing today. I think it might be hump day. Then again, I think it might be because you're singing with Paul. You did a great job. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, friends. That makes me so happy, and it makes God happy, too. Now, when we left, we were talking about Moses, and Moses was known for his faith. He was known for his faith because when he was an Egyptian and he was in the palace of Pharaoh, he had, we would say, millions of dollars. He had anything he could have ever wanted, but he didn't like any of it. He would have rather have had nothing and be with his family because it meant that much to him. 
But the Bible would also say that Moses was known for his faith because when they came to the Red Sea, the Israelites did, and Moses had led them all through the wilderness of Egypt, and they were caught at a road where there was mountains, and there was nothing but we would call the Red Sea in front of them. Moses held out his staff, and the waters parted, and it would say, by faith, Moses crossed the Red Sea on dry ground. But the Egyptians didn't quite make it because they were too far behind. And God didn't want them to catch them. But what's the takeaway for us when we ask ourselves, could we cross the Red Sea? Did you know that Moses probably at this moment when they've escaped Egypt and Pharaoh says, hey, I'm not going to have this happen. I'm going to go and get those Israelites and I'm going to bring them back here to Egypt. Have you ever felt really nervous about something or really worried about something? And every time you think about it, it just seems like, you know, if I don't take care of this, it's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. And the more you think about it, the more worried you get. And then you become very sad and, and very confused and you don't know what to do. Well, the Bible would say that we need to act and have faith just like Moses had in God. You see, God delivered the Israelites across the Red Sea, and they made it to the other side safe and sound. And you know what happened to the Egyptians? They went swimming in the sea, and they didn't quite make it out. If we had a faith like Moses to cross the Red Sea, do you know how many times we could trust in God and just walk through the waters of worry on completely dry ground and we wouldn't have to worry about it because we know God has us taken care of? Friends, when we trust in God, we'll have the faith to be able to cross any sea that God asks us to cross. And that could be the sea of trials, the sea of worries, the sea of whatever you want to put in the blank there. When we trust in God and we have true Bible faith, we too could be like Moses and have our name in the hall of faith. Now, friends, that's all the time that we have today. Let's go work on our memory work, and I'll see you next time. Let's go. Hey there, friends. So our memory work this week comes from Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. Now today, we'll say it once together, and then I want you to say the verse back to me. Are you ready? Let's go. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now I want you to say the verse back to me. Are you ready? Go ahead. That was wonderful. That was even better than yesterday. Now keep working hard on your memory work and you'll have another part of God's word in your heart. So until next time, see you later, friends. Come, let's sing Jesus, 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 Jesus,